a lot of people are not happy that this lady represented Nigeria for various reasons. Some are not happy because they feel like she looks like a white woman, while others are not happy because they are like, why should a biracial lady represent Nigeria? I don't understand those people who are condemning her because of her physical appearance and saying that she looks purely white, but I guess it's because of the straight hair that she has. And I don't really think this is the normal texture of her hair. She might have straightened it or it's possibly a wig, but I think the hair part is a misrepresentation of Nigerian hair type because most Nigerians have coily hair types. And I think she herself has a coily hair type. But besides that, she has normal west african features nigerian features this lady looks like a proper light-skinned nigerian there are so many light-skinned nigerians if this lady passes on the road with an average light-skinned nigerian you won't even be able to tell which of them is biracial there are so many nigerians that look like this without even being mixed so please let light-skinned nigerians breathe because there are so many light-skinned Nigerians and they are as Nigerian as you are. So if a light-skinned Nigerian is to represent Nigeria, there's nothing wrong with it. Now, as for the questions on her nationality because she is biracial, that I can understand. Because Nigeria is a country where you are being categorized by where your father is from, not where your mother is from. So if your father is a Nigerian, you are automatically a Nigerian, even if your mother is Chinese or European, it doesn't matter. Once your father is a Nigerian, you are Nigerian. That's just how things work in Nigeria. And you can see this, even it played out where during the election, where a, someone who was coming out for the governorship position of Lagos, his mom was Igbo, his dad was Yoruba, and people were like, he's, but he's Yoruba because his father is a Yoruba man. So that's how it just, that's just how it works in Nigeria. So people questioning her nationality, I can understand because I don't know whether her dad is Nigerian or her dad is Yoruba, I don't know. But the truth of the matter is, you are being categorized by where your father is from. Ex the only time maybe you they will categorize you from your mother's side is maybe if you are, let me say like Igbos now, if you have a child outside with luck, the man never paid the bride price and all this thing, you know, tradition will now make you your mother's father's child. So except in cases like that, then you say, okay, this person is is from her mother's side because of the situation surrounding her birth. I know a lot of people might not understand things like this because they don't really have deeper knowledge on African history and what the West plans to do and have been doing for decades in order to steal African resources. But if you have knowledge on things like this, you understand why some people are actually against biracials going into certain things when it comes to Africa because they feel like they're trying to protect African resources. But I feel like as long as Nigeria has that policy of if you are from your father's side, I feel like we are safe. Once you have that rule of where you are from, how to be categorized, it's not like you're not from your mother's place, but when it comes to certain issues, your father's place is the one that has the strongest hold over your identity, then I think we're actually safe to an extent, but let's just watch and see.